Hey guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this video on the transformation and modifications that I did on my 2011 Chevy Tahoe. This is a four wheel drive version. It does have the 5.3 liter V8 in it. This is pretty much factory, just how it came from the, um, from the factory itself, from the dealership. 20 inch rims, chrome rims, uh, notice the running board, you'll see something different there in a moment. Uh, I did tint the windows, but this is your basic 2011 Chevy Tahoe. Notice on the inside, I've done a few things on the inside. I've mounted the CB radio, you see the speaker there on the dash. Uh, on the left, I've put a dash cover. Notice the Molly packets on the sun visors as well. Uh, all my patches, morale patches that I was able to put on my dash, I enjoy those. I also put some seat covers. Uh, these are front and back with Molly straps on the back. The American flag there. Ordered those off Amazon. You can check those out in the link. Uh, but that's kind of the inside. Full leather interior, four bucket seats. Uh, the two in the very back I've taken out because I carry my everyday gear back there. I decided to go to Carl's Four Wheel Drive and Performance. And if you're looking for anybody to do anything to your truck, Tahoe, car, performance package, whatever it is you need done, this is the place to go in Bartelzo, Illinois. Fantastic people. Carl's Four Wheel Drive and Performance Center in Bartelzo. Highly recommend them. Uh, check out Josh or Brennan. Tell them that John Cannon sent you over and he has the black Tahoe. So this is where I went to start the modifications. Are you ready for this? Right, so here, we here we are we at Carl's Four Wheel Drive Wheel and Performance in Bartelzo, Illinois, right outside of Mascuda, obviously where I live. This is Josh. He's been my handler, if you will, for the Tahoe conversion kit uh, that we've been doing, the modifications. So we put a lift kit on this, new wheels and tires, new ball joints. Yes. Josh, why don't you just give us a quick kind of overview. Just kind of walk us around and show us a few things on this. Okay. Uh, what we did here was we put a seven and a half inch rough country uh, full suspension lift kit on it. Um, fuel wheels, um, customers will the tires in general, but... Uh, now these are 35 yes, inch tires, right? 35, 1250. And what's the size of the rims? Didn't we go a little wider on the rims? 20 by 10s. On the 20 rims. by 10? With a negative... Uh, I think it's a negative 24. Offset? Offset, I yeah. think. Yeah, so, okay. So it's out there a little bit. Good. Um, and then with the, uh, the rough country, it, it actually, the knuckles will push it out an extra inch on each side. So we're actually dry close to a negative 44 in the, in the if we kept standard. Oh, okay. So we'd have to do a little trimming to get it to fit. Let's look at where we did some trimming. I think it looks really good. Yeah, yeah. I had the guys come in here and and, and trim out the, the fender and the plastic bumper here. So yeah, that yeah, looks good. To, That's no problem at all. Try to try to do as much minor trimming as possible. So and we had some ball joints that we had to replace on it as well, right? Yeah, being an older vehicle, I'd, you know, quarter million miles on it, two hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> yeah. So you know. I'd, Definitely want to get the, the general maintenance done. Yeah, right. this has what, 248,000 or yeah, something like that something on it? Like that, and yeah. uh, whenever people come to me and they talk about it, and I tell them how many miles are on it, they're like, what? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. No, it, it was in, in really good shape, you know, other than some of the wear items. We yeah. Replaced prior to, so. um, but yeah, yeah. We uh, put some fender flares on it. Yeah, fender flares. Now these are from. Uh, these are Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker. Pocket uh, style flares, so. Three inches of tire coverage on there. Well, the I'm gonna take a shot right down the side so you can kind of see how uh, the stance of the Tahoe with the wheels they stick out a little bit past the fender flares, which is kind of that's the look I was after right there. Uh, I wasn't real sure how it would look, I knew it was, but that's kind of want, what I, I wanted. Knew wanted aggressive, but, yeah. Yeah. yeah, aggressive states it. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. That looks mean, doesn't it? <laughs> and this had the um, air suspension factory on it. Correct. On this yes. LTZ. Yes. And we put a... We converted that to a standard coil uh, shock suspension system. So, yeah, um, let's take a peek at that right here. There you can see the coil. Here's the shock. That's more at your traditional system right there, right? Yes, yeah. So it's, We did it's away with that air. Very maintenance friendly instead of all the yeah. air. Love it, love it, love it. Well, guys, it looks fantastic. I'm going to be piecing a lot of uh, small detailed 
parts in this video so you'll be able to break out and see that and go to all these segments. And I want you to be sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel while we're here and go ahead and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. But if you need anything done to any of your vehicles, trucks, four-wheel drive, whatever, I highly recommend Carl's. This is Josh. Uh, we have been talking since on the phone we started a conversation that's what i like about carl's here they're just down to earth they take time to talk to you you're just not a number uh, you have a conversation and we talked about this for months before we actually did yeah, the build yeah, didn't we? well you know it takes a little time to pull the trigger yeah you know, it does build, so. yeah and then uh, yeah. think about all the variables that come into play so anyway i hope you enjoy the rest of this video i'll do some more detailed uh, shots here on what we did here but josh thank you very much thank you appreciate what you did for us here and uh look forward to more
have these steps installed. They're called the car steps. This is an 18 inch one in the front. Like a 12 inch one in the back. A but anyway, what's impressive, and I don't know if you can see this, these guys did a great job because, as you can see, they're supposed to mount on the frame rail, which is here. And that would put the steps way too far up under the Tahoe. So they custom built this six inch piece of steel, took it to the shop and broke it two inches down, and then bolted it to the frame. And then undercoated, painted it black and undercoated it. And then mounted these steps to that. It works fantastic.